Hi Internet, this is Ryan, and this is my vlog on life after college. I have you living life like you should. Just say you never had it so good. So I wanted to explain a little bit of why um, I'm <laughs> vlogging now. Uh, I decided to do it just for fun, just to keep up with my friends, and to show what life is like, my life is like after college. I was really inspired by some other vloggers, such as CTFXC with Charles Trippy and Ally Trippy. Wow! Also, Jesse and Gina from Prank vs. Prank. Incredible! Dope Freshness. And here's my TV that I got. When I first moved here, the first my parents were like, "You gotta get some furniture. You gotta get a bed." And the only thing I cared about was the TV. I had budgeted um, a certain amount of money for it. It's the Sharp Quattron. It has like that extra colored pixel because you know most TVs only come with the red, green, and blue. Well, this one comes with that extra yellow color, which seriously doesn't make any difference at all. It's just a marketing ploy. And here's my gaming systems. I have a PlayStation 3, the first generation. I just used it to get um, to play Blu-rays. Remember when Blu-ray players cost like a thousand dollars? And then the PlayStation 3 costs like $450, so I was like, well, why don't I just get a PlayStation 3? And it's so old now that it actually overheats all the time, so I have a little fan here that I have to point and turn on at the same time. Over here, I have my Wii. That's the only gaming system that I actually play games on. Oh, well, I actually have my Xbox 360, but I just got that for the Kinect, which I played like five times. I think that's like... The average amount of time that a Kinect user plays with the Kinect, actually. My favorite game that I like to play on the, on the Wii is uh, Super Smash Brothers. Who's your favorite character that you like to play on as Choose your uh, character. Super Smash Brothers? Mine is, well, my best character that I play as is Lucas. But I feel like it's kind of unfair when I play as him because I'm too good. So I usually like to play as other characters that most people don't usually play with. So um, I play as Pokemon Trainer Go Charizard! a lot. Um, I like to play as Olimar, uh, Jigglypuff, and I even like to play as Peach to make people feel really bad about themselves when they lose. Did I win? So right now I'm just getting ready to go to the pool. So just gotta grab my sunscreen and my water bottle and my shades. And we'll be ready to go. I have to go there during the day because nobody's ever here. So over here we got a few cabanas. And over on this thing over here, this is a refrigerator. You can stick your stuff in there and keep it cold. It's pretty cool, there's two of them. There's another cabana there. And here's the pool. One of the perks of living in California. So, I was born and raised in Hawaii, and I went to school in the East Coast. Now I come back to California for work after school. Now I'm in my kitchen trying to figure out what I'm going to have for lunch. Okay, try this one. So this is like an upgrade from the college ramen. I bought some pork belly to stick inside. And I have some greens that I'm going to start dry. This baby bok choy. And then here's the noodles. Mmm. And look at that. All done. Yes, and the best part, gotta put some of this inside. Yeah. Have you ever seen this before? It's so good. It's like a pepper that you put inside. It makes it spicy. Here's Hugsy, my bedtime panda pal. His name Hugsy from Friends. Hugsy was uh, Joey's 
penguin. I actually go to sleep every single day watching Friends, an episode of Friends. It's easier for me to fall asleep since I know all the episodes by heart because if I just laid in bed at night I found that I would just um, and if it was silent I found that I would just keep thinking of other things like oh what about this what about this and I never have any bad dreams anyway I'm getting ready to go to the gym now <laughs> got a selection of bro tanks here headed off to the gym Man, I was so tired at the gym today. Just got back, and I think it was a combination of going to the pool in the sun and also not getting too much sleep that caused me to be incredibly weak today. I know some of you might be asking, what is this? This is my camera. It's my actually my iPhone 4. See? I have a little skin on it here. Awkward Silence. Do you know that game, Awkward Silence? I play it with my cousins all the time. Now it's dinner time, and here's look at what I made. Man portion. Chicken, rice, and Napa cabbage stir-fried with some ginger. Mmm. I know this is a bad habit but I always take my food with me and don't eat it at the dining room table where it should be eaten but instead I like to go and sit in front of the TV and watch some Lost. I'm re-watching Lost right now because I haven't re-watched it since I've seen the last episode. Whenever I'm sitting down here, I have extra napkins that I get from Chipotle. Every single time I go to Chipotle, I always have to get some napkins. Over here too, they just have the napkins sitting out, so I just grab a whole bunch. <laughs> now, I never have to buy any napkins. That was a ridiculous meal. Hey, so I thought I would reflect on a couple of things on life after college that maybe you might not have thought about. Um, I hadn't thought about it until I actually experienced it. Number one, don't rush into a job. If you don't have one after you graduate, that's okay. I know when I graduated, everybody in my class already had a job and I was just really depressed thinking, my gosh, everyone has a job. How come I don't have anything? How come? And so, and I just spent so much time looking for a job. Just take your time to find something that you actually want to do. Number two, life after college is pretty lonely. It's not like in, when you're in college, when you see your friends every single day um, and you get to hang out with them whenever you want. Number three, for some weird reason, it seems like I have less and less time. I remember in college, I was just like, I don't have any time for anything. And yet, all I had to do was focus on my studies. I went to a school that you were, basically, we just lived on campus and we were in the middle of nowhere. So we didn't have to worry about anything else. Think of it like, I always tell people, just think of it like Hogwarts, where you, it takes a really long time, you take a long train there, and then you stay there, and then you live and breathe the school. Yeah, I went to Hogwarts. But yeah, if you have any questions or if you want to share your experience of what happened right after college, put it in the description below. We'll get through it together. <sighs> anyway, I better head off to bed. See you tomorrow.